Frontotemporal dementia is a tricky condition. Unlike Alzheimer's, which tends to affect memory first, frontotemporal dementia often starts by changing someone's personality or behavior in subtle ways. This makes it easy to miss in the early stages. You might just think your spouse or parent is going through a phase or having a midlife crisis. Actor Bruce Willis's diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia has brought fresh focus to the disease, which is characterized by symptoms such as behavioral changes, language difficulties, and communication challenges. Today, I want to talk to you about frontotemporal dementia, what it is, and the 10 early signs of frontotemporal dementia that you should never ignore. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with your friends and family. Have you or anyone in your family noticed any behavior changes? Which part of the world are you from? Leave your comment below. Frontotemporal dementia is really serious. It's a group of brain disorders that damage the frontal and temporal lobes, areas that control things like personality, behavior, and language. And it tends to strike earlier than other types of dementia, often in people in their 50s or 60s. So what should you look out for? Here are 10 early signs that might indicate frontotemporal dementia. 1. Personality changes. This is often the first and most noticeable sign. Someone with frontotemporal dementia might start acting in ways that seem out of character. A shy person might suddenly become outgoing. A kind person might become rude or insensitive. An ambitious person might lose all interest in their career. These changes can be subtle at first. You might just feel like something is off about the person, but not be able to put your finger on exactly what. Pay attention to that feeling. Our intuition about people we're close to is often right, even if we can't articulate why. The key is to look for changes that are persistent and out of character. We all have bad days or go through phases. But if someone's personality seems to have shifted in a lasting way, that's worth paying attention to. 2. Loss of Empathy This is a specific type of personality change that's particularly common in frontotemporal dementia. Someone might stop reacting appropriately to other people's emotions. They might seem cold or indifferent when a friend is upset. Or they might laugh at inappropriate times like when someone gets hurt. This loss of empathy can be really painful for family and friends. It can feel like the person you knew is disappearing, replaced by someone who doesn't care about others' feelings. But it's important to remember that this isn't a choice they're making. It's the disease affecting their brain. 3. Socially Inappropriate Behavior As the disease progresses, some people with frontotemporal dementia start to lose their social inhibitions. They might say offensive things, make inappropriate comments, or violate other social norms. This can be really embarrassing for family members. You might find yourself constantly apologizing for your loved one's behavior. But again, it's crucial to remember that this isn't the person choosing to act this way, it's the disease. 4. Lack of Judgment People with frontotemporal dementia often start making poor decisions, especially about money. They might suddenly start gambling, giving away large sums of money, or falling for obvious scams. This can be financially devastating for families. It's often necessary to take over managing finances for someone with frontotemporal dementia, even in the early stages. But this can be tricky to do without causing conflict especially if the person doesn't realize anything is wrong. 5. Apathy While some people with frontotemporal dementia become more disinhibited, others go in the opposite direction. They might lose interest in things they used to care about. Hobbies, work, relationships. Nothing seems to matter anymore. This apathy can look a lot like depression, and indeed, many people with frontotemporal dementia are initially misdiagnosed with depression. The key difference is that depression usually comes with feelings of sadness or guilt. While people with frontotemporal dementia often don't seem distressed by their apathy, they just don't care. 6. Compulsive or Ritualistic Behavior Some people with frontotemporal dementia develop strange compulsions or rituals. They might need to do things in a very specific order, or become fixated on certain activities. For example, someone might suddenly start collecting random objects or need to walk the exact same road every day. Or they might develop eating rituals 
like needing to eat foods in a specific order. These behaviors can be frustrating for caregivers, but trying to stop them often just causes agitation. It's usually better to accommodate them as much as possible, as long as they're not harmful. 7. Changes in Eating Habits Speaking of eating, changes in diet are common in frontotemporal dementia. Some people develop strong cravings, especially for sweet foods. Others might overeat, forgetting when they last ate. And some lose the ability to know when they're full, eating far more than they need. On the flip side, some people with frontotemporal dementia lose interest in food altogether. They might need to be reminded to eat or only want to eat the same thing every day. These changes can lead to significant weight gain or loss. They can also cause conflicts around mealtimes, which can be stressful for caregivers. 8. Difficulty with complex tasks In the early stages of frontotemporal dementia, basic memory often remains intact. But complex thinking can become difficult. Someone might struggle to plan a trip, manage their finances, or follow a complicated recipe. This can be particularly noticeable at work. A person who was once a star employee might start making mistakes or falling behind. They might have trouble adapting to new systems or technologies. Often, people try to hide these difficulties at first. They might make excuses or find ways to avoid complex tasks. But over time, these problems become harder to conceal. 9. Language Problems For some people with frontotemporal dementia, language is one of the first things affected. This can show up in different ways. Trouble finding the right word. We all have moments where a word is on the tip of our tongue, but for someone with frontotemporal dementia, this happens more and more often. Using words incorrectly. They might substitute an incorrect but related word, like saying chair instead of table. Losing the meaning of words. Over time, some people lose understanding of what words mean, especially less common words. Speaking less. Some people gradually talk less and less, eventually becoming nearly muty. Echoing. Some people start to echo what others say, repeating back phrases or questions instead of answering them. These language problems can be incredibly frustrating, both for the person experiencing them and for those trying to communicate with them. It often takes a lot of patience and creativity to find new ways of communicating. 10. Lack of self-awareness Perhaps the most challenging aspect of frontotemporal dementia is that people with the disease often don't realize anything is wrong. They might acknowledge specific problems, like struggling to find words, but they don't see the bigger picture of how they've changed. This lack of awareness can make it really hard to get someone to seek medical help. They might get angry if you suggest something is wrong or come up with alternative explanations for their behavior. It's important to note that not everyone with frontotemporal dementia will show all these signs. The disease can manifest differently in different people, and many of these symptoms can also be caused by other conditions. Depression, stress, thyroid problems, and other medical issues can all cause similar symptoms. So if you notice these signs in yourself or someone you love, don't jump to conclusions, but do take them seriously. Make an appointment with a doctor preferably a neurologist who specializes in cognitive disorders. Getting an accurate diagnosis can be a long and frustrating process. Frontotemporal dementia is less common than Alzheimer's, and many doctors are less familiar with it. It often takes multiple appointments and tests to get a definitive diagnosis. But getting that diagnosis is important. While there's currently no cure for frontotemporal dementia, there are treatments that can help manage symptoms. And knowing what you're dealing with can help you plan for the future and get appropriate support. It's also important to take care of yourself if you're caring for someone with frontotemporal dementia. The stress of caregiving can take a serious toll on your own health. Make sure to take breaks, ask for help when you need it, and maintain your own social connections and activities. One of the hardest things about frontotemporal dementia is that it often strikes people in the prime of life. It's not uncommon for people to be diagnosed in their 50s or even 40s. This can mean having to step down from a career at its peak or having young children to care for while dealing with the disease. Another challenge of frontotemporal dementia is that it's less well-known than other types of dementia. 
This can make it harder to get support and understanding from others. People might not understand why someone with frontotemporal dementia is acting the way they are, especially if their memory seems fine. This lack of awareness also means there's less research funding for frontotemporal dementia than for more common types of dementia like Alzheimer's. But research is happening. Scientists are working to understand the causes of the disease and develop potential treatments. For now though, the most important thing is awareness. Knowing the early signs of frontotemporal dementia can help you catch it early. And early diagnosis, while it can't stop the disease, can help you and your family prepare and make the most of the time you have. If this video helped you out, why not give it a quick like and share it around? It could really help someone else looking after their brain health. You never know who might need to hear it. Recognize any of these signs in yourself or someone you know? Drop a comment and let's chat about it. If you want to stay in the loop with more health tips, just hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We release new videos every week. Your likes and comments really keep us going. They show us what you want to see more of. And before you go, check out these two videos we selected especially for you. I think you'll love them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.